Welcome back. Next to face the chaser, it's Courtney. Welcome to the show, Courtney. Thank you. Where else are you from? I'm from Aylesbury in Buckinghamshire. OK, uh, and what do you do for a living? I'm a chemical engineering student. Whereabouts? Uh, up at the University of Edinburgh. So, oh, wow. quite a way up. <laughs> yeah, beautiful part of the world. Yeah, it is really lovely. Uh, pastimes, hobbies, what do you have? I'm a huge Formula One fan, so I'm an avid follower of Lewis Hamilton uh, since he started. I well, mean, you've got to be quick. Yeah. <laughs> he's what got me into the sport, so, but no, I really enjoy Formula One, supporting the British drivers, even though we're slipping in numbers as it stands. Right, OK. Uh, and uh, if you were to win some money today, what would you do with it? I would like to take my girlfriend Leah on holiday with me, uh, hopefully to somewhere warm and sunny in Jamaica. All right, I well, wish you luck. Let's get you on holiday. Each correct answer is worth the grand. Courtney, your time starts now. What parts of the body are colloquially called chompers? Teeth. Correct. The book Castaways in Lilliput is loosely based on what Jonathan Swift work? Pass. Gulliver's Travels. Do You Know What I Mean was a number one hit for what Manchester band? Oasis. Correct. In 2016, which cabinet member said the UK would make a titanic success of Brexit? Michael Gove. Boris Johnson. A person stops being an octogenarian when they celebrate what birthday? 80th. 90th. In 2016, which golfer became the first Swede to win the Open? Pass. Henrik Stenson. What's the common name for the cat colour that breeders call red or orange? Pass. Ginger. In 1768, which Russian empress had herself inoculated against smallpox? Catherine. Uh, more, please. Uh, Catherine the Great. Correct. Michelle Pfeiffer sang Cool Rider in what 80s? <laughs> no time to get there for you, Courtney. Three grand. Yeah, it's not a great one, but... Uh, bad luck, it. bad luck. All right, uh, three grand it is. Um, I'm looking forward to this. Ready? Time to face the chaser. Hello, Courtney. Hello, Paul. Well, that cash build was much like Formula One, only with more passing. <laughs> Nonetheless, I think you're better than that, and I expect you to know the answer when it's laid out in front of you. Let's put the money on the table. There you go, Courtney. Three steps ahead of the chaser. Three grand. Low offer off, please. No need to take this. £300. And a higher for off, please. This is a very exciting offer. They'll give you a magical holiday in Jamaica. £40,000. Have a chat with the team. There you go, Georgie. <laughs> Courtney, I bet you're disappointed with your 3000 You're a better player than that. If you want to go high, go high, but otherwise stick with your three. Thank, Thank you, you. Marion. Forty is a fantastic amount, uh, but go with your gut for the answers, because I, I slipped on a couple, so... Stick with the three, but go for the 40 if you really fancy it. Thank you, 300, three grand, 40,000 pounds. Courtney, what will it be? I'm going to stick where I am and take the three. Three grand it is, Chaser. Sensible, I suspect. All right, let's do this. Courtney, for three grand, the chase is on. I wish you luck. Here comes your first question. What was the last horse to win the Grand National while carrying top weight? A, Corbiere, B, Party Politics, or C, Red Rum? You've put red rum. I mean, I don't know a lot about horse racing. Wrong kind of question for the wrong person. But red rum's the most famous of them, so I went with that. I bet Marion would know this. <laughs> Correct answer is... <laughs> is red rum. Well played. Step close to home. Nice. Chase has put. Goes also with red rum. Chase comes onto the table. I have no idea about horse racing. Don't get it. Not really my thing. That, cricket, and strangely enough, Formula One. <laughs> so if I see a horse driving a Formula One car wearing cricket pads, I'm in serious trouble. <laughs> Here's your next question. In 2016, who became the first woman to appear on the Forbes list of highest paid comedians? A, Kristen Wiig. B, Amy Schumer. C, Sarah Millican. You put Amy Schumer. Yeah. So she was on Trainwreck, which was one of her first breakout movies, so I'm going to guess that, whereas Kirsten Wiig had Bridesmaids a few years ago, and if she hadn't cracked into it off the back of that huge success, I was under that impression. I don't think Sarah Millican's cracked the stateside yet, so that was my logic. Correct answer is... It's... Oh, great answer. Amy Schumer, step close home. Well done. Chase has put... Goes right, Amy Schumer. Very good. Amy Schumer's had a couple of amazing years as a comedian, and that absolutely A-list. Here's the next question. 
the author of the novel The Land That Time Forgot also created which fictional hero? A. Robinson Crusoe, B. Sherlock Holmes, C. Tarzan. You've put Tarzan. Yeah, got it. Uh, well, I know Sherlock Holmes is Arthur Conan Doyle. I don't know Robson Crusoe, but I, I know that he is a human character, I believe, whereas Tarzan, is, like in the land and time to forgot, is also sort of animalistic and yeah. rural, so that's Correct. my logic. Edgar Rice Burrow, Correct answer is... Great answer. Step close to home. Chasers put... Goes wrong with Sherlock Holmes. OK, game opens up. Here we go. Here's your next question. Before ahead, which of these gems consists mainly of calcium carbonate? A. Amethyst. B. Diamond. C. Pearl. Ooh. You've put pearl. Got to be. Well, I know diamond is carbon, so I immediately ruled that one. Amethyst. I mean, I, I don't really know. So I went calcium carbonate because it's white and pearls are that sort of colour. Correct answer is. Great answer. Step close to home, Pearl. It is. Chasers put. Had to be. Yeah, it goes wrong with Amethyst. We are now five ahead and one from home. Get this right, you've had four goes at 40 grand. Four. Here's your question. What were the first names of the composer Sanson? A. Charles Camille, B. André Sara, or C. Edouard Sophie? You've put. Charles Camille. Well, Sarah and Sophie don't sound massively French, and also Camille, I think, sounds the most masculine of those names, so that was, that was the logic. To go through with three grand, the correct answer is... Yeah, brilliant. Charles Camille. Well played. Very good. Chaser. Yeah, French late 19th century composer, most famous for the Carnival of the Animals and commonly known by the name Camille rather than Charles. Camille okay. Sanson. Thank you very much indeed, Courtney. Well played. Congratulations. Good Thank job, you. mate. £7,000. Oh, Could have really yeah. gone for it. Oh, I wish I went high now. <laughs> yeah. OK. £7,000 in the prize fund. Only Georgie left to play. Can we have three in the final? Find out in a minute.